Once again, we will be with you by introducing one of the provinces of Iran. In this program, we want to introduce Bushehra province in the south of Iran. Please stay with us. Bushehra province is one of the 31 provinces of Iran. It is in the south of the country with a long coastline onto the Persian Gulf. Its center is Bushehra, the provincial capital. It is built near the ancient seaport of Rishara. It was the chief seaport of the country. The Greeks knew of Bushehra by Mazambria during the battles of Nearchus. A French excavating team, however, in 1913, determined the origin of Bushehra to date back to the Elamite Empire. A city there, known as Lian, contained a temple that was designed to protect the compound from naval attacks. Its remains can be seen today 10 kilometers south of the present city of Bushehra. Marco Polo described this region as part of the Persian province of Shabankara. It contains the village of Saba, where are buried, he was told, the three magi who visited the Christ child. This province has both sandy and rocky seasides and the common water activities like boat riding, swimming and water skiing are very popular. There are different tribes of Arabs, Laws and Bebahanis living in this province. Almost all the people speak in their local dialects. There are also many beautiful islands including Kark and Sheaf. The island of Kark or Karg is located near the port city of Gonova, Bushehr region, in the Persian Gulf. Geologists traced its formation back to around 14,000 years ago. This inhabited island enjoys economic importance and a strategic position and is considered one of the most important crude oil export terminals in the world. Siraf. The remains of the ancient city of Siraf are located near the Siraf Kanuni port in the Kangan district of Bushehr region. What is left of Siraf are stone cavities dug into the slope of the hills and it seems that after the advent of Islam they were also used as sepulchres. The Siraf catacombs are located in the site of the ruins of the ancient port now called Taheri Bushehr region and their construction dates back to the Sassanid era and post-Islamic periods. In this large cemetery, many rectangular shaped tombs, generally with a length equal to 210 centimeters, a width of 50 centimeters and a depth from 40 to 60 centimeters were dug in the stone and cement mortar was used to make them geometric or for the external surface coating. Since this cemetery at different times in history has been used by people of different religions, experts have called it the Cemetery of Civilizations. Jashak Dashti Salt Dome or Salt Mountain is one of the largest, most active and beautiful salt domes in Iran and the Middle East and is located between the cities of Dayar and Dashti, Bushehra region. It is 12 kilometers long, four and a half kilometers wide. The dome is approximately 3,666 hectares wide and its top is 1,350 meters above sea level. Among the various and remarkable peculiarities of the salt dome of Jashak, which is located in the heart and in the highest part of the mountain, we can mention the type and white color of the edible salts. The color variety of the industrial ones, red, brown, white, yellow, black and orange, with unique domes and caves, salt glaciers, beautiful waterfalls, crystals, etc. In the southern part of Iran, salt domes can be observed up to almost 114 in particular in the regions of Homozgan and Bushehra. <music> De 
Firdashti mansion is an early Kajar era, 1785 to 1925 home, built by an oil merchant named Hajj Ghulam Hussein Derdashti in Iran's southern city of Bushehra. The house has strong Zand era, 1750 to 1794 elements in its architecture and stucco relief decorations. Unlike the other buildings in the old texture of Bushehra, which are mostly two-storey structures, this 1,400 square metre home has been built in four storeys. Sandalwood, teak, coral, lime and plaster are the main materials used in the construction of this mansion. The ceiling of the living room has all paintings with European themes. The structure has magnificent stucco reliefs as well as monobat, stained glass and gira tile decorations. Several trade documents have been found in the house, some of which are 200 years old. Some of these documents have stamps from the UK, India, Germany, as well as Kajar stamps. Dow and Shipbuilding Dao and shipbuilding are among the oldest handicrafts of Bushehra province. Its history relates to the Ashfarid dynasty. The industry of shipbuilding has boomed a lot because of sea exchange and the fishing boom. It is mostly done in Galafan. Its necessary equipment is hardwoods for the waterfront, Indian wood called say, and other things. Their equipment which is so primitive that it is produced annually because it is a slow process. It is popular in Bushehra. Gaba weaving. Gaba is a kind of carpet and considered as the most prominent handicraft of Bushehra. Gaba weaving is popular in almost all villages and cities of the province. Gaba weavers do not use a map for weaving, they weave by conceptual designs in their minds. The common design among Gaba of this district is the traditional one which has been through thousands of years. Gaba designs are actually geometric patterns, birds, animals and flower paintings, striped patterns with one, two or three bergamot oranges in every corner. Sometimes its central design is divided into squares or paisley, like every traditional design. Folk music has a significant role in the life of the Bushehra people. From ceremonies to morning events and during the time of work or children sleeping, it has a long history in the culture of the people. The background of these kinds of joyful songs in the Bushehra region dates back to the songs and rhythmic movements of the black African and Arab workers at the time when they worked in the southern coast of Iran. It's currently considered to be a local feature. Some of the melodies pertaining to the music of Bushehra date back to a thousand years ago. Locals of Bushehra use drumming, which recalls the sea, and sailing in their religious ceremonies. Other major musical instruments in Bushehra are Ne Anban, the bagpipe, and Ne Jofti, the double pipe.
traditional Iranian women's clothing in this area has many beautiful features and are colourful. Women in Bushera wear long, wrinkled dresses with a thin scarf and a thin mask on their faces. Trousers called chit and shoes called kush. Arab men traditionally wear dishdasha, an ankle-length long-sleeve robe usually in white or gutra and kafir, the headdress. Dal Adas. Fry the onion until it becomes golden, add garlic and fry it for two minutes. Then add turmeric and curry and fry for two minutes. Add tomato paste and stir. Cook for 10 minutes on a low heat, then set aside. Pour the red lentils into the saucepan, add hot water and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes until the lentils are tender. Remove the foam. After 20 minutes, blend the lentils, add potatoes, let it cook for 10 minutes on a medium heat, cover the saucepan, but not completely. After 10 minutes, add the sauce and mix well together. At the end, add some salt and oil. Cook for 10 minutes on a low heat again. Now it's ready to serve. Shrimp stew, galia. Fry the chopped onions in a frying pan with some oil until it becomes golden. Add chopped vegetables and fry with onions. At this stage, you can add garlic. Roast until the vegetables change colour and are cooked. At this stage, add the spices and stir until well combined. In the next stage, add well-washed shrimps and fry with onions and vegetables. After the shrimps are roasted, add potatoes and fry again. Add hot water and wait until it boils. At the end, add tamarind paste. The cities of southern Iran, especially Bushehra, despite the vast natural resources such as oil and gas and the existence of countless wealth, in these areas there is always poverty due to the plunder of the clerical regime. So they always use every opportunity to protest against this regime. In the recent uprising of 2019, Bushehra province was one of the rising provinces of Iran. Thank you for staying with us. We hope you enjoyed watching this program and we will continue to be with you by introducing other provinces.